Good morning, respected teachers. Myself, Dr. Dhruvin Doshi, second year resident in GCS at GCS Medical College, uh, guided by Dr. Nikunj Desai, professor at GCS Medical College. So my, my topic is role of blood doctor in predicting fetal outcome in pregnancy-induced hypertension. Introduction. Uh, hypertensive disorder is one of the most complicated, uh, most common complication that affect the human pregnancy. It is one of the leading cause of the maternal and fetal morbidity and mortality. Cut doctor techniques have provided repetitive non-invasive hemodynamic monitoring in pregnancy. Also, it is more sensitive in detecting the early, early fetal compromise and aids in the guiding and making the decisions regarding the appropriate timing of the delivery. My aims and objective is to evaluate the role of color doppler in pred uh, predicting the prefetal outcome in the case of the pregnancy induced hypertension in second trimester. Role of uterine, umbilical, MCA, arteries, velocimetry for early recognition of the high risk pregnancies. The analysis of the abnormal vel velocity waveforms of umbilical, uterine, MCA, and ductus venosus in second trimester of the pregnancy to uh, predict the fetal outcome. I have <clears throat> taken 50 patients. For the second at uh, 60 patients with hypertension in second trimester of the pregnancy and uh, at the radiology department. The criteria from the abnormal indices. The abnormal uterine entry, we can see uh, there is a persistent diastolic nausea after 22 weeks, elevated PI, RI is greater than 0 0.58, and SD ratio is greater than 2.6. Now, abnormal umbilical. For umbilical, decreased absent or reversed diastolic flow, elevated PI, RI, or SD ratio, abnormal umbilical. Mm. Now, criteria from abnormal MCA. For MCA, in early stage of the fetal hypoxia, we can see, the, see there is a increase in MCA, PSV. In compromised state, decreased PI. Okay. On, in severe cases, PI tends to be raised, reflects the development of the brain edema. And uh, in absent and reversal flow, there is an omnia sign. In abnormal ductus venosus, in early stages, we can see that it decreased A wave. And in a later, there is absent completely or reversed A wave. So the first case is a 27-year-old female gravid 2 with history of hypertension previous pregnancy at 24 weeks of gestation comes toward the routine USG. We can see there is a persistent diastolic notch in the uterine artery. But the umbilical and MCA, uh, is normal, normal umbilical PIRI and uh, normal MCA. So the second case, a 23-year-old female primary gravida at the 26th week of gestation with complaint of hypertension. BP is 160 by 100 mmHg. The umbilical PI is raised. It's upon, it's about 2.05. However, the MCA is, MCA PI is normal. So, it's suggestive of the um, uteroplacental insufficiency. The third case is 25 year old second week gravida at 28 weeks of gestation with a complaint of decreased perception of fetal movement. The her BP is 180 by 105 mmHg. We can say there is abnormal umbilical PI. It's upon 2.35 and abnormal MCA PI also. It's upon it's about 1.34. And uh, on ductus venosus we can see it is a completely normal. So it is due to brain sparing effect. The blood from the whole body uh, goes to the brain. So the ductus venous is completely normal. On the fourth case, that is a 26-year-old third gravid at 25 weeks of gestation with severe hypertension. Her BP is 210 by 110 and decreased fetal movements. On umbilical, we can see there is a reversal of the umbilical flow. And on the uh, MCA, it is also abnormal MCA. On ductus venous, we can see there is a reversal of uh, A wave. So it's indicated a need of uh, immediate intervention. My observation on age distribution and in parity. 75% of the patient belong to the 21 to 29 age group and maximum patients, 48% were primary para. Distribution cases on the basis of the Doppler indices. The uterine and umbilical indices were found to abnormal in the most of the patients whereas the ductus venosus was, was largely normal. The main is umbilical and uterine artery. On the fetal outcome, with the normal uh, dopplers on the umbilical, MCA and the uterine, 
you can see there is a normal deal, a fetal outcome in 85% of the cases. However, if any of the indices is abnormal, any of the one, uh, it is approx 61% abnormal outcome for the fetus. The result, the uh, sensitivity sensitivity of the umbilical is on a higher side, about, about 86%. And however, the specificity of MCA and doctor's venous is, is higher. The sensitivity of umbilical artery indices is higher for the prediction of the abnormal fetal outcome. The specificity of MC and ductal venosus is higher for the prediction of the abnormal fetal outcome. This is uterine, this is umbilical, it is higher. And in, in, in the specificity, we can see the ductus venosus and MCA is on a higher side. The conclusion, the Doppler ultrasound is very sensitive index for the fetal well-being and compromise in PIH. Average gestational age for the delivery in the patient with the abnormal indices was 34 weeks and the patient with the normal Doppler indices has a full-term full normal delivery. High-risk fetal seen in absent reversed or diastolic flow in umbilical artery, absent or reversed PI of MCA and in a reversal of A wave or absent A wave of the ductus venosus. So here my topic is over. Thank you for the listening.